What the fuck is going on? I am Commodore Amiga, um, aka Evan McCaber. I am. I have to keep telling. I have to keep reminding myself this because this is what I am. This is what I've been training for for the past ten years, and uh, because I've been blogging so much about my illness, I've forgotten who I am. So let me remind you, and let me remind myself. I am an actor, performing artist, uh, a theatre um, divisor entrepreneur and um, training to be a free range human which what does that mean it means I do whatever the fuck I please that's what it means um, google it and um, to be honest with you for the past couple of months I've been posting so many negative um, so many negative videos on my channel and um, I wanted to let y'all know that um, um, that every day I do fight. I fight. I fight this illness. Ah, as you can see, um, you can't see, <laughs> but I've cleaned my flat a little. So no, I don't live like in shit as much as I used to. Um, although my desk, my work desk, looks like shit. But my work desk always looks like shit, regardless of um, how healthy I am. Um, if I, you know, if I've got like, um, if I'm working on a meeting, if I'm working on a project, it's gonna look like shit. If I'm not working on a project, it's gonna look like shit. If I'm having a shit, it's gonna ha look. It's... Are you getting the point of this? Yeah. So, um, yeah. So that's. That's look, that's looking like shit. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I'm missing something. Endorphins. Um, I've been working out today. Um, I've been thinking if I if I get the camcorder out, maybe I should do like a workout thing. And um, you know, if any pony has any like advice for me, um, in terms of where I'm going wrong, um, or if you'd like to see the unique um, dumbbells that I'm using, I'm actually uh, I actually consider it as life hacking. Um, you know, let me know. Um, I'd love to hear uh, whether I should do it or not. It's half eleven at night, and I'm having a cup of tea. Now, I know tea has what's it? Caffeine in it. But I've heard that, you know, tea is like a really nice thing to have, like lots and lots. So I don't know how bad tea is for you at this time at night. But bear in mind that I have to eat in a minute because um, I've had some meat defrosting. And I think today is the last day or at least... Um, I'd like to eat it today because um, tomorrow night is pizza night and I make my own pizzas. So yeah, that's rad. And it's also beer night tomorrow. First time I've drunk in two, three weeks, I believe. The funny thing about like depression and, uh, and stuff and like anxiety and shit is like the amount of people that tell me don't fucking drink. And it's like, why the fuck not? You know? Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's meant to be a, a depressant, but at the same time, it's a depressant. There's so much of a depressant that can make you so relaxed. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to spend Friday night relaxing. Why not? So, um, this video is live. It's live recorded. Um, on my Kindle, um, and um, as you can see, the quality is better than the webcam. Um, the cam uh, the laptop is over there, like a shithead. I try to um, open it up and try to dust, like clean the dust bits from it, and um, the son of a bitch won't turn on again. So I'm just gonna sell it for parts and see if any other pony has any luck with it. Which finally, 
five minutes into the video brings me to the point of the video, uh, which is not that, not an email. Just so you know. It's not an email. But I'm on my way. I'm going um, I'm, I'm to be doing a lot of traveling in the uh, in the foreseeable future and um, I think with the wonders of like the Kindle and I have a new phone uh, which is the Samsung free mini um, I was thinking like you know reading a book reading uh, listening to an audiobook playing a video game um, watching a film all this is now accessible it's, it's i'm able to do it and not worry about my battery very nice la, 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 la. um so my only concern with kindle is that the games themselves are mostly shit but there's a few sort of casual games that I've been getting into. 10,000. Um, I don't play Fruit Ninja, but I suppose it's okay for like a five minute thing. Angry Birds is okay for a five minute thing. But I like the kind of games that really sort of, um, you know, make my brain active. So there's the games, there's the films. Um, I can probably um, download one and sort of watch it. Um, I can read like a shitload of books, and I have been reading a shitload of books, particularly um, being a free range human, being a non conformist, and obviously um, um, my sexual tastes. Now, like I said, I'm selling the laptop for sale, I'm selling the Xbox for sale, and anything else that I can grab my hands on, I'm, uh, I'm selling them all um, for a desktop computer. Um, so I can still play on Steam and, and I can uh, still be a part of the video game um, community. Now my question is, we really need, now my question is, as I was thinking about it, are laptops now <clears throat> close to being extinct? Do we really need a laptop anymore? Um, you know, if you look at like Kindles, if you look at iPads, even iPods, even phones, you know, even like the massive fucking um, Samsung Galaxy Tab, you can still use it for like gaming, you can still use it for books, you can still use it for um, uh, watching films, you know. Obviously, if I'm, um, if I'm in a creative flow, um, you know, I can use it to write down my ideas, and I don't even need a fucking internet connection for it. Um, you know, apps like um, um, Office Suit, um, I never, I ever know, just makes my life that much easier. Because um, my, my main concern is when I'm traveling is that um, I'm going to get fucking bored, and in the past, all I've done is just like whacked my MP3 player on, um, which was my old Blackberry. But now I don't really need to worry about that because, like, now I've got like I'm spoilt for choice. So I want to ask you. Uh, well, I want to ask you guys out there. Um, you know, what does every pony think about this? Is our laptops becoming extinct? And um, thanks to um, game engines such as Unreal Engine Three and the other ones. Um, you know, um, Activision just um, unveiled their new engine for Call of Duty, uh, <clears throat> um, a future Call of Duty ga games, including Ghosts. Um, do we really need a laptop anymore? I know that Alienware still do gaming laptops, but to be honest with you, they're fucking redundant because um, whenever you know new um, new technology comes around. That's going to be like, what, £2,000 down the drain? And I don't even have that much money at hand. So, yeah, it would be nice to hear your thoughts. Um, I'm going to go now. I'll probably see you next time I'm really low and down. Um, 
but I hope not. I hope I can, you know, I hope that the, I can get a hold of a bike and get a hold of exercise a lot more, go out more, get those endorphins going, because I have so many ideas for performances. I have so many ideas for um, things that I'd like to do and collaborations and things that will, quite frankly, blow your fucking minds. But I need to get my mind right. And if you'd like to see me get my mind right, remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I still need a new catchphrase. Remember, don't feed the Paris Brights. Because, like, if one of them motherfuckers turn into two men motherfuckers, and motherfuckers turn into four, and two, four of them motherfuckers turn into six, and six of those motherfuckers turn into...